In order to position your paper correctly on the page, you first need to make sure that you have no artifacts on the board at all. Make sure you get rid of any um, old bits of pen, pencil shaving or bits of rubber. Make sure there's nothing on there that's going to affect any drawings you complete. Place your piece of paper into the center of the page. So in this instance, I'm using A3 piece of paper on my drawing board. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that I line up my paper with the rule that I'm using. Now I'm using a sliding rule that's attached to both sides of the board. You may be using a T-slot rule, which sits down the side and has the same sort of arrangement. But what you want to do is place your rule, bring your paper to the ruler. If you have got measurements, you may be lucky enough to have an identifier where your paper needs to go. But as long as it sits fairly centrally in the page and parallel to the rule, you're okay. Um, so make sure you're sitting there nice and even in the center. Excellent. And then simply use a little piece of masking tape on each corner of your paper. So I'll set that corner first. I only want to overlap a little bit. I don't want to cover too much of the paper because when I come to draw my border in, I don't want it to overlap on the masking tape itself. So I'll place a piece on each corner, ensuring I'm staying flush. Once I've done the top two, I will slide my rule up. Careful not to knock the page too much. And then finally, I will tape the bottom two corners. Check your rule is still parallel with the edge of your page and you are good to go. You will also find any engineer square that you use then will sit nice and square and parallel to the edge of your page.